What's up, people? She Who Crips 13. I just wanted to update you on my mold shop. It's now open, and it's on Etsy, and it's called She's Family Molds, and I will put all of the descriptions in the down bar, so be sure to check them out at the end of the video. Um, so anyway, you can find us on Etsy, and um, the name is a little weird, but we were trying to come up with something um, for everyone since everyone kind of had their own part in it. I designed the machine, um, drew up the plans myself, um, I had my peoples build it, and then... I have sculpted pieces and a couple different family members have started sculpting pieces to be molded and a couple people have picked a few things that they wanted to sculpt. So that's why we went with She's Family Molds. So you can find us on Etsy and like I said the links will be in the down bar. So I just wanted to share with you a few of the pieces that we have done and that are on our website and there's going to be a few pieces that aren't on our website that I wanted to share with you as well. Um, so this first one is the 4-on-1 gun palette that we have. And we have more guns coming, like different styles and bigger ones also. And a couple small ones as well. But this is our first gun palette, and it's the 4-on-1. This one is a really good size for the necklace, and I've actually already made one with this gun. So um, there's that. And then... Our other one that we did, which is a really cool work in progress, um, is this is a shark, and he is pretty big. Um, each one of these squares represents one inch. Um, so he is a pretty big sized uh, piece, but the cool thing about him is that he's actually a, um, oh, what the heck is it called? Bottle opener. And I am waiting on some bottle openers to get here because I'm going to see if I can fit them in this actual piece, and if I can fit it in this actual piece and pour it, with it in there and if it works as a bottle opener I will have a bunch of different styled bottle opener molds in my shop so this is the first one that we have and like I said it should work I'm just waiting on the piece to get here so anyway um, this is a really cool deal and I cannot wait to finish this so he is already listed on our shop if you want to give it a go yourself and then we have our key and some people have told me that they have a really hard time molding keys and I was really lucky that mine is actually doing really well and it's picking up a lot of the detail so it's a pretty pretty good size key really neat and that is also listed on the site and then I'll go ahead and show you the guns we also sell the guns individually um, off the palette if you want only certain types of guns so here's the first one the pistol and they are pretty thick so you can pour them uh, as thin or th thick as you want. You don't have to go the whole entire way. But there's that one. And then there is the MP5. And that's like a really good size one for earrings or for rings also. And it's got this little loop right here so you can drill right through that spot right there to hang them so they'd be like that. So there's that. And then there's this one right here. And again it's got a loop down at the bottom so you can hang them if you want like that as earrings. Um, but they're pretty good sizes. And then, where else? Bear with me, I'm digging through the molds over here. And then there's this one. And like I said, I already made a necklace out of this one. I really, really love this mold. It's a really good size mold. So, there's that. And then we've got a two-on-one cross palette and these are really really good for earrings or rings they're a nice size you can also make um, pendants out of them they're not as big so that's why I said they make really good earrings or um, rings themselves but they're nice size so you get two on one and then we've got my star mold and I really like this one because it's got an edge around it, and I actually already made one with it, but when I went to drill it, I, I suck at drilling, and I drilled through the side of my piece. So um, that is actually a finished piece out of the mold, and I really like how it came out. I didn't really have to do a lot to it, but I wish I wouldn't have screwed up my drilling. Like I said, I suck at drilling, so that is the piece from the actual mold itself, and I think it's a really nice size. So that is our star, and like I said, it does have an edge. You can see I've already painted mine. And you could actually go a little bit farther than what I did for the edge, but I wanted to keep it simple because this glows in the dark and I wanted it to pop. So there's that one. And then we've got, oh, I don't know where the other one's at. Great. Um, we've got this right here. This is our cat mold. 
and it's really neat because it's two different layers and it's a pretty thick mold so you could actually probably use these for hand soaps because I think they're a pretty good size in the thickness because I believe that the um, for soaps don't the molds have to be deeper is what I'm thinking so I think this is probably a really good one for a soap mold and it's a really nice one and you don't if you want to use it for resin you don't have to pour the entire thickness either so that's our scary cat for Halloween and we also have a raven one, but I don't see it in my pile sitting over here. But it's just like the same style of the cat. Where is that one at? Oh, uh, where are you? Here's one. Um, this is not the one I wanted to show you guys, but that is the raven. And it's the same deal. And I think that it would make a pretty good um, soap mold because they are thicker. So... There's that. I also did this one, but it's not for sale yet, and I don't know if I'm going to list it for sale. I haven't got to pour it yet. It's got little flowers and peace signs in it. It's got a spot to drill in the left-hand corner, and it is a butterfly, and it's pretty cute. I just don't know if I want to list that one yet. It's still up in arms. Um, also, I've got a ladybug coming soon. This is not listed on the site yet either. Um, I have to make a few um, corrections to it before I can let it go. And it does have little bumps on it, but I think it came out really nice. We also did a um, a horse, seahorse mold. Here's the one I was looking for. This is the the raven mold. Sorry, brain fart. It's early in the morning. I haven't had coffee yet. And there's another cat. And there's I didn't eyeball. This isn't listed either. Um, somebody said it looked like a boob, so <laughs> I don't want to list it. I want to pour into it and do the detail work on it first before I, um, post it just to make sure that it doesn't look like a boob because I don't want to hear any complaints about it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, we did a seahorse mold, but, um, I had issues with it. It felt really flimsy in certain parts, so I didn't want to let go, so I'm going to try and make some corrections to it. And let's see, what else do we got over here? We've got these ones. I'm probably not going to carry this one for very long if no one buys it because it is small. But it is a scalloped edge circle and it has dolphins in it and like a little scene and two spots for where um where there could be seagulls in the background. But I'm not sure that I'm going to carry this one for very long because it is rather small. So unless you plan on making rings out of it or like a small child's necklace, um, I may not carry that one in the shop for long. But I do have a couple already made up. Also, I have the little teeny dome. I don't know if I'm going to keep that either because other people already have domes. Um, okay, here's the other one I've got. This is a butterfly mold, and I thought it would be really good for soaps as well because it's a pretty decent size piece. Like, there you are. And it is thick. It's deeper. I think that this would make a great hand soap, and it's really cute, so... There is that one, and I've got those listed in the shop already, so you can go get them. And then, okay, I'll show you, yeah, I'll show you this one. This one I thought would be good for hand soaps, too. This is my own personal mold. I've been making um, glow-in-the-dark lighter necklaces out of it, but I thought it would be good for chocolate for guys or hand soaps for guys, and I can make a palette of these. So anybody out there that does hand soaps, if you think this is a good idea, let me know, because this is an actual full-size lighter, and it picked up the detail really well. So if you think you'd like a palette of lighters or different shaped lighters, let me know, because I've got some that I've emptied the fluid out before I molded this. So anyway, that is one that's not listed yet, but can be, um, I just haven't made a palette of anything. I've only made a palette of guns and a couple different things, um, cause I ha I'm new at this. I want to make sure that I can afford to do it. So this is my other palette that I have, but it needs some work on it. This is the Jack and Sally pieces that I have. Um, his face on one of my molds came out really nice. And then this one looks like very faint, and then the same with her. It didn't pick up as much detail as I would have liked it to. So right now I'm not selling these until I can pick up the detail a little bit better in them. I mean, it got her hair and her eyes and stuff. But I want it to be able to pick up like the stitches in the background and the barbed wire. And it very faintly picked it up on one of these. And I don't think that's even it. See this one, it didn't even really get it as much. So i got to go back and um, do some work to the pieces to get them to mold a little bit better. So they're not listed on the shop yet. And... Um, those ones I'm probably just going to throw away unless someone wants them because they have, um, they don't have enough detail in them. So if you want a blank one with no detail in it, I'll sell it to you for cheap. 
So then the next pieces I'm going to show you are all my hand sculpted pieces and we'll have a lot more hand sculpted pieces to come. Um, but these are already listed on the shop and the first one I'm going to show you is my little kawaii ghost that we did. And there he is and he's got two eyes, two cute cheeks that stick out, a U-shaped mouth and then a really cute bow tie. And he's a really good size. He's really cute. I've already made one of him that glows in the dark. They, they come out really nice. Um, where else? What else? Then I've got my dragon eye that I sculpted, and I love this thing. It's got different bumps on it and scales, and it's got this part for the eye, so you can actually build the eye in or out, because right now it goes in a little bit, but you can definitely build it out once the piece pops out. And it's got some nice detail on it. So this is my dragon eye that I sculpted. I really love this thing. It came out really nice. I've actually got a piece that I made right here with it and I think he came out really cool and like I said the eye can pop in or out I just put dimensional mod podge in mine um because I like the effect that it gave whenever I painted the inside of it and I'm not that great of a painter on resin I've seen other people who can do better um I'm pretty good with a toothpick and, and painting but as far as painting like anything else I'm not that great with it so um like I said this is my own piece that I hand sculpted and this is the piece that I poured in there with resin I think it came out really nice. So that is the Dragon Eye Mold. And that is for sale in my shop right now. So you can go check that out if you like. And I think it makes a perfect size pendant um, and or ring. Like it would be a big ring, but it would be a perfect size pendant. So there's that one. And then the next one is a two-on-one palette. And it is my anime emotions. And I thought these would be really cool for bow ties. And I hand sculpted them. So the first one is like the the stress drop, like the teardrop that you always see in the corner of their head and then this is like the angry mark <laughs> or like if they stub their toe they're like ah they get that mark on their head so I really like how this came out and they are thick so you can pour them thick or thin and I thought they would make really cool hair bows for like cosplay and stuff like that so any of you anime people out there this is gonna be my two-on-one palette it is available in our store today so you can go get it from there and check it out and then my last one, but not least, um, for this batch of molds that we've done are my hand sculpted Halloween mold. And it is my pumpkin in my scary tree face. And I absolutely love this mold. This is my hands down favorite that we've done so far. And it's got two on one. It's got the tree face and it's got the pumpkin face. It's got really nice detail on it. It's got really good lines um, on the actual pumpkin and the stem. I know it's kind of hard to see on my camera. The tree has a bunch of lines in it for like the bark and then the eyes and the nose and the mouth all go inward and they come out really nice. I've actually already made this piece. I don't have it on hand to show you um, but I do have the pumpkin on hand and I'll show you that one. Also I entered um, the Isle of Wight County Fair for my pieces. This one only got participation because I actually um, won first and second in this category also with other pieces so um, but I figured I would show it to you anyway because I just got these back from the fair. But this is from my mold. And I think it came out great. And where those black lines are actually indents in the mold. So you can paint them whatever color you'd like or not paint them. And the eyes came out really nice. The mouth, the nose, they all go in and they look really good. Um, there's actually more detail on the stem. I just didn't paint it in time for the show because the show came up on me really quick. But they are there so you can do... Um, the detail in it if you'd like but I think this came out perfect it's a great size necklace I absolutely love it um, and you can pour it thicker as thin as you'd like so that is one of the pieces from the mold that I hand sculpted and like I said I don't know where the other one is right now I'd show it to you um, but that came out of this mold and it is available on my shop today and these are my hand sculpted pieces I actually sculpted these so um, go check it out I really really love it and I'd love to see other people create um, stuff with this one for Halloween. It just, I think it's a really nice size and really, really cute. So anyway, that is my favorite mold if you ask, um, hands down. So go check it out. And like I said, it went into the Isle of White County Fair. So it's already been on display outside of my shop, which I thought was really cool. And then, um, 